Hello friends, welcome to information technology once again. In this particular topic we will see the types of operating system. Already in the previous class we have seen what is an operating system. The functions of operating system has been covered. Here we will see what are the types of operating system. So let's move forward. So the types of operating system, the operating system can basically be ca categorized or it can be classified depending on various parameters. The first parameter is the number of tasks that it can perform. So it can be a single tasking and multi tasking operating system. So as the name suggests, single tasking operating system allows the execution of only a single program at any given instant only one single program at a particular instant so that is called as single tasking operating system multitasking as the name suggests many tasks or many operations can be executed simultaneously so here what occurs is that the processor time for each and every processes are divided among each other so if suppose there are three processes to be executed simultaneously then the processor time will be divided among these three processes equally into three parts okay so this is multitasking operating system now next is the single user and multi user operating system so single user here also as you can see the name it allows only one user to use the system for example our desktop systems so here we are the user, so we have our login and password and a single user can use it at that particular instant or at that particular time. Only one user can handle it. But in case of multi-user operating system, many users are being given the permission to access a particular system at the same time. Various registered users are given their accounts, multiple accounts are made and they can use the system the same time using this multi-user operating system next type is the real-time operating system real-time also has the name for this at that particular instant this particular operating system functions that is for example in case of the operating system that is used where an anti-missile uh, uh, system has to be working then it should work at that particular instant when the it receives any signal from the enemy aircraft. So as soon as it receives a signal from the enemy aircraft that missile is coming, so at that particular instant itself the anti-aircraft missile system should work. So this type of operating system that is used in such cases is real time. Also in case of weather forecasting also real-time operating system is used um, because at different instant of time the temperature changes the weather conditions changes so in such cases real-time operating system is used and the next type is the batch processing system so in batch processing system what happens is suppose there are various jobs then the similar kind of jobs are clubbed together and are made into block okay and they are submitted as a block to the processor for execution users intervention is minimal in such systems the jobs are picked up one by one and then they are executed so similar types of jobs are made or clubbed to blocks and these similar types of processes are then taken up by the processor and they are executed one by one the blocks are executed one by one so these are the basic types of operating systems